injured in a boat crash early this morning. It happened just before 2 a.m. on Clear Lake. Edward Eads of Grand Forks, North Dakota, driving a boat when it struck a dock and a docked vessel. The dock and boat endured some damage, but thankfully Eads, his two passengers, not hurt. However, Eads has now been charged with boating while intoxicated. That unfortunate event is serving as an important reminder. Alcohol and boating do not mix. KIMT News 3's Alex Jurgens is live at Clear Lake where it all happened. Alex, what is law enforcement doing this weekend to make sure this doesn't happen again? Well, George, across the state and across the country, lakes like Clear Lake will be full of boaters, tubers, and water skiers. Tons of them out there already, right as this rain shower is about to move in. But they don't want alcohol to dampen the festivities, and which means extra patrol and longer shifts during this weekend. And it's all to avoid anything that could go wrong. A fleet of boats will be on area lakes this weekend, but drunken boaters can end up like this. Around 2 this morning, a 1997 Cobalt boat struck this 2014 Skier's Choice Supra SC. It caused some damage to the boat and the dock. I heard this thud and then a motor racing, just momentary. Jim Fogdahl was awake at the time of the accident and heard the man who struck the boat calling 911. And calling 911 and telling them that I was drunk, I was driving a boat drunk, and I ran into a dock. Fogdahl believes it could have been much worse. The last lift was 10 feet closer to land, and consequently, the, uh, the boat had to travel farther over the dock and in through midair before it would hit that boat. Otherwise, it would have broadsided the, the boat at the end of the lifts. The Iowa DNR is out in full force this weekend as part of the nationwide Operation Dry Water Campaign. This will be Benjamin Bergman's 15th 4th of July weekend, patrolling the water. Alcohol and boating, it seems to be a rite of passage for some reason. And, um, you know, with, with as hot as it is, and the waves, uh, the motor vibration, that plays even more effect on, on, on an operator. Um, so if you're out on the water this weekend, have somebody that's a sober driver. And we, we tend to see that more, but at the same token, we still have those who really like to enjoy themselves um, with alcohol and at times too much. Now, Bergman tells me that if someone is intoxicated or might have alcohol on board, they do have a field sobriety test they can administer. And I did speak with the owner of the super that was struck. Uh, he declined to go on camera today, but he mentioned that uh, he's looking to be able to take it out this weekend and hopefully we'll be able to fix that damage here soon. Live in Clear Lake, Alex Jurgens, KIMT News 3. Thank you, Alex. By the way, in Iowa, it is illegal to operate a vessel with a blood alcohol content above .08. Well, if you're like me, one of your favorite parts of the July 4th holiday is the fireworks.